What's up? It's AK Babyface. Subscribe to Supporting Icons for the latest boxing news. Right, so Lucas Brown makes his long-awaited return to the ring and he takes on Julius Long and it's a rematch of course. Now, last time out, Lucas Brown, he took on Dylan White and he got starched cold in round number six with a meaty left hook. And a lot of people thought, okay, well, maybe that's career over. Um, a lot of people did say that uh, Lucas Brown, he'd come in out of shape. He didn't give it the best that he could possibly give in the training camp. But would the result have been any different? Probably not, to be fair. But in this one, Julius Long, I said he has beaten Julius Long once before when he stopped Julius Long in round number nine. But this time, it only took him three rounds. So he's in motivational spirit and he took out Julius Long in three rounds. And Julius Long, he got a point deducted in round number two for excessive holding as well. So I think Julius Long came in there to try and survive for as long as he can. Lucas Brown is a very, very big puncher. So what you like about his performance against Dylan White, but he is a very, very big puncher. Now, in addition to this, so congratulations to Lucas Brown. It's good to see that he came back into the ring because I've always liked Lucas Brown. And not only has he got the win, but he's targeting a couple of people. Adam Kalnaski, who is fresh on a victory over Charles Martin, um, which for me, I think is a real, real dangerous fight for Lucas Brown, but one I'm certainly interested in, certainly interested in. Um, the battle of the two bald-headed guys. Fantastic. Or Dave Allen. Now, Dave Allen, he's going to be fighting on October the 13th in my city of Newcastle and all going well. Maybe that's a fight that could happen. Now, ultimately, if I could have a preference, I would like to see Lucas Brown versus Joseph Parker. I think that uh, these two would be a very, very good fight. And it could happen in Australia. It could happen in New Zealand. It wouldn't matter. Either one would pop very, very well. So anyway, we'll have to wait and see what happens. As I said, hopefully Joseph Parker, he will be up for this kind of fight. Maybe Lucas Brown will look at that as a step too far too early, rather right now. So maybe he's going to be looking at, say, Dave Allen, and maybe sees Dave, Dave Allen as easy work, which would be a, a mistake if he overlooked him. But Adam Kalnaki is a very, very good fighter also, and not one that I would really want to risk if I was Lucas Brown, if he wants to have a huge... Southern Hemisphere fight against Joseph Parker. So for me, I think Parker and Brown need to get cracking and get this fight signed, sealed and delivered before it's no longer a possibility. So anyway, congratulations to Lucas Brown on his return to the ring with a third round stoppage of Julius Long. So congratulations to Big Daddy Brown. Catch you all on the next video. Subscribe.